In this demo, we will show you how you can create powerful solutions with the new variable library item and data pipelines. Like other fabric items, you'll need to set a name before you click create. This will then create a new library that will list all your variables. Create a new variable and set your name and type. You can choose from Boolean, DateTime, GUID, Integer, Number, and String types. You can even add notes to better collaborate with your team. Once all that is configured, set your default value. You can also add alternative value sets, which will allow you to set variables to match your release stages in your CI-CD solution. Here, I'll add new value sets for a test and production stage, and then update the values corresponding to each stage. Let me add a few more variables. Once everything looks good, make sure to save your changes. Now, let's use some of these variables in my data pipeline. In the pipeline editor, you'll see a new section for library variables. Here is where you can create a reference to your library variables. All you need is a name, and then you can select from your existing variable libraries and the existing variables within that library. You'll see that the item type auto populates. Now you can use your library variables in your data pipeline solution. For example, in my get metadata activity, I can set some dynamic content for my file path. In the expression builder, you'll see a new tab for library variables. Use these like you would any other parameter or variable. I'll go ahead and click on my folder, and you'll see that new library variable expression is populated. I'm going to go ahead and do the same for my directory. I can even use my library variables to parameterize my workspace artifacts like Lakehouse, Data Warehouse, and KQL database. Here, I'm using my Lakehouse library variable, which holds my Lakehouse artifact ID. Once that's set, I'm also going to use my library variables to parameterize my Lakehouse table name. Now let's save this pipeline, run it, and see what happens. After successfully running, you'll see that the input folder path shows that the files are coming from variable library dev and the dev folder, which we've set as our default value. And you'll see that the data has been successfully copied to my lake house. Now let's see how we can use this with CI/CD. After opening my deployment pipeline, you can see that I have three stages, development, test, and production. I'll go ahead and select my variable library and pipeline to deploy from dev to test. And you'll see now that my test environment now has my variable library and pipeline. In my test workspace, I'll go ahead and open up my variable library and I'll make sure to set the test value set as active. Now, when I go to run my pipeline, you'll see that the file path has been updated to variable library test and the test folder without me having to modify my pipeline. In my lake house, you can see that I also have a test table. As you can see, with variable library and data pipelines, you can really create powerful end-to-end -end data solutions.